So I bet you have been, if you're like me, you struggled at first in trying to figure out how to upgrade your your wonder weapon on die machine, right? So basically what I'm going to show you today is how to get the electric version. The electric version has a 400 bullet clip instead of 60 and it's pretty good against bosses. Um, there's also some other things you can do to kill the bosses faster, which I'm going to talk about as we progress and get the parts for the Wonder Weapon. And uh, First, I'd like to say that I would recommend Pack-a-Punching the Gallo uh, for about mid-game, and uh, I would recommend Ether Shroud or Ring of Fire. Once you play a little bit, get, you know, exfil, whatever, you can get some crystals, upgrade your stuff, upgrade your perks, um, upgrade your shotguns, that will also help with the gallo, makes it pretty strong, and if you upgrade your melee, you can use the bowie knife until about round 7, or 8, maybe, it's a one-hit kill, uh, that's pretty much the meta for mid game and then uh, you can upgrade all your perks you know do all that stuff just so as you progress it will happen a lot faster and uh, I will get right into it and let you guys know how to get the parts because I'm sure you want to know okay so now that you're in uh, basically what you could do it's it's really up to you uh, what I like to do is just get my melee kills and then get to about round 10 in the starting area if things get too dicey, you could always open this door or that door and then just get it, go ahead and get out. But, uh, no rest in peace. the Megaton, which is the boss guy, he normally spawns on about round 10. So, basically the plan here is to have enough money to go ahead and then just buy the Gallo. Or, uh, you could use it in your starting loadout. But, uh, this game has a weird system. Um, basically, your starting loadout, you start out at uh, tier 1 damage, which would be common. And if you buy it off the wall, it's already at tier 2. So, there's disadvantages and advantages to that. But, uh, stay in here, get to about round 10, buy the gallo off the wall, buy the plane... And then turn the power on, all that cool stuff. So I will uh, be right back when it's about round 10. Okay, so I'm back. And we're still in the starting area. We're on round 9. Uh, right now I've, I had 23,000 points. And you're just going to want to, like I said, just buy the Gallo. That's your best bet. It's the, uh, it's right here on the plane. It's, I would probably say, like I said already, many times, best gun for mid game. Uh, up to like round 30 or so. It's pretty good. Double pack it, triple pack it, do whatever you need to do. So, in order for you to actually get the first part, for the wonder weapon you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna make it to about round 10 it's a gold number and then you're gonna kill the megaton he's gonna drop that first piece it's gonna be the key card you could do the wonder weapon but I highly recommend that you guys don't buy jug once you turn the power on for the pure fact that you can get it for free now since I'm already showing you how to get the wonder weapon and all that stuff I'll, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how to get a free perk which is always juggernog so what you're gonna wanna do is you have to have the pack-a-punch machine on first and then there's gonna be a blue orb behind that chair you shoot that one. There's one under here. You shoot that one. Then there's one up top, right there. In the far left corner. And then you got two more to shoot from this point. So you could do this one 
uh, however you want to do it. I like to get up top here, aim down into this generator, shoot that one, and once they go away, that shows you that you've done it right. And then the last one's going to be in this corner. And then from this point on, you've actually already done all the steps you need to do to get the free perk. And it pretty much gives you a guaranteed at least tier 2 tier 2 damage gun. Uh, you can get the ray gun out of the box, you can get legendary weapons out of the box that are already fully maxed out except of course pack a punch. And uh, if you're having trouble killing the megaton guy, uh, your best way in order for that to happen is you're, you're going to need the gallo and you're going to need to pack it and get dead wire. So once you open this box after you're out of that uh, dark ether mode right there, you're going to open this box. This box is going to drop a bunch of salvage, pretty much whatever you need. And then it's going to drop that weapon sometimes, not all the time. And then here's your free jug. Go ahead and drink that. So this one gave us the Hower and rare uh, tier 3 damage. Which, honestly, I'm not going to take. But once you pack uh, the Gallo, you're going to want Deadwire. Deadwire is the best thing for taking down that big zombie, apart from the Wonder Weapon. And I, I'm going to show you just how easy it really is. That is if I can get a straight shot on him. There you go. He's already he's already cracked. Then if you have if you're like me, you have uh, the ring, which is a more offensive move. That also will help you just do more damage to kill him. Okay, so once you've killed the Megaton guy, uh, and then you've killed his split halves, uh, you're going to pick up uh, the key card. Now, once you get the key card, you're going to want to head this direction, go up here, and then you'll see hold square, or, you know, whatever console you're on. You insert the key card right there, then it gives you the second piece. Once you're down here, it's going to say DIE signal detected. Now, you can see the wonder weapon right there if you jump and look. But I recommend you probably have some stuns, uh, something to stun the zombies in general, maybe a monkey. And you turn this on and get them to all flow into the door. You don't have to kill them in front of the door. The door automatically kills them. So here's what I do. I activate it from this side and then kill any of them that branch off. To make sure, you know, I don't immediately die. Okay, now that it's cooled down, we're going to just activate it again. And just keep doing this until uh, it says it's ready. Which, now mine's ready. It took two tries. You're going to want to hold down square, discharge in that corner. The wonder weapon. Now I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade it. You could also do the gas upgrade, which you do like this. Then there's a couple more steps, but right now I'm only going to be showing the electric one. So you have to be in the dark ether. Uh, you got to get the aether scope parts. And the first one is in the spawn area. And then the second one is going to be right here on this plane wing. Now you can actually get all three parts in one go. It's just a little difficult. Depends on your timing. I'm going to see if I can get 
the last piece. Let's see. Now the last piece will be down here in this corner. You're going to want to give them the diary. If I could stop getting uh, pieces. Then from here, uh, there's a possibility you could do all three of these in one go as well if you're quick about it. I've already wasted a bunch of time. Second one's going to be right here in the control room. Give him the diary. You don't have to listen to the dialogue. Uh, I'm just skipping it just so there's a possibility I'll get all three in one go. The last one is going to be down here by the workbench. Give him the diary, and then once he's done with that, uh, I'll show you the next step. The ghost, whatever you want to call him, spirits. Uh, once you give the diary to him, you're going to want to come back and then go back to his little office right here. And then it'll say enter password. Enter your password, this will glow blue. That's how you know you've done it correctly. Now from this point, the portal should spawn down here, near the packet punch room. If it doesn't spawn like that, you've done something wrong. I'm not exactly sure what, it could be just a simple placement issue, whatever. Um, so you go back once again, that's what a lot of these steps are, is just going to the dark ether. And you're going to want to come up to the spawn area after I kill this guy. Okay. Go back to the spawn area in the penthouse is what I believe this is called. Go up top. Now you'll see this glowing crystal. You gotta shoot your shot and then press L2 to suck it up. And then you're gonna need to do this two more times for the other crystals. There's one right here and then the other one's near the swamp. Let me show you. While well, I'm already in here. The last one's gonna be right here by this gigantic crystal on the right hand side. Now, once you get these, you have to do, or suck up, whatever you want to call, all three of them individually. Now, once you do the first one, whichever one you pick, you can't shoot this after you get it. And then once you have at least one, you're going to want to come down to the pack a bunch room, go to the right-hand side, and then you'll see this little box. Now, you're going to want to shoot it. And then you'll see one of the lights come on. Now you're going to need to do this two more times with the other two locations. And then from that point on, you'll then get the upgraded wonder weapon. Now you should have the electric bolt. Now this thing absolutely slays through the boss and through the zombies, both of them actually. Now, take this as you will, but uh, you can exfil, you can try to survive as long as you want, do whatever, but usually what I try to do is go for around 31 exfil. Now, in order to make this easier on you, you know, you could have this, of course. Pack a punch gallo three times. By round 30, you should at least have that much money to spare. Uh, depending on how many perks you've bought. I already have four. Um, then try to upgrade it, you know, do plenty of damage. And then whenever you get to the exfil site in the swamp area... You probably need to have War Machine by that point. Um, it really makes it a lot easier. Uh, you also need full armor. You don't need it, actually. But it's up to you. You want to risk it. It's on you. Okay, so I'm already here, and I have to kill 56 enemies in a very, very short amount of time. Pull out your War Machine. Start running in some, some circles, you know. The normal stuff.
as you can see, um, it's it's a little good. I was stuck in a corner and it still pulled me through. That's just that's just how good it is when, once it's upgraded. Now, of course, you can always get the other versions. Uh, that was electricity. I think you can get frost, gas. Uh, but their steps are a little more complicated. Um, it requires definitely some precise things. But with this, all you have to do is just go through the dark portal and you'll be fine. Anyways, um, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, maybe I'll make another video on how to get the frost one. Uh, it just depends on how this one does.